Hello YouTube, this is Devin and welcome back to Let's Play Transformers. Now a few things before we get started. First off, uh, my recording software has been crashing every time I've tried to start a recording. So let's just hope it doesn't crash while I'm actually playing the game. If it does, I'll deal with it when that happens. Um, so we'll see. Second thing is uh, I have no clue how long I'm going to be playing this for um, because I've been trying to get together with a friend of mine for like ever who leaves for college in three days. And uh, we've been trying to hang out for a really long time. So if she texts me in the middle of whatever I'm doing, then I'm just going to put down the controller and I'm going to head out. So there's that. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this. So you might remember uh, last time we invaded the Decepticon battleship, which turned out to be Tidal Wave. And uh, he then transformed on us. And now we're faced with a boss battle. Uh, if you also remember, he's freaking tall. So... We're going to have to figure out a way to bring him down. Now, we do know that his head is the only vulnerable part of him. That's the only place we could actually deal damage to. Now, there's two strategies I've developed. Um, there's a missile strategy and a sniper rifle strategy. Because we have to hit his head, but since he's so tall, hardly any of our weapons will actually reach his head. So we can either equip range finder over here, which will enhance the range of our weapons and then equip a rocket launcher, say, I don't know, Hailstorm. And um, what that'll do is it'll allow our missiles actually to be able to reach his face. Now, the upside of this is that it does a crap load of damage. The downside is that missiles travel very slowly and it, there's a high chance we'll miss him, uh, miss his face. Now, the other strategy we could do is equipping, where is he? Lookout, our sniper rifle. And uh, then we don't need Rangefinder, because Lookout has a good enough range on its own, and then we could hit uh, Tidal Wave's face right off the bat. The downside of this is that Lookout does not do, do very much damage at all. Uh, the upside is that it fires very quickly, so there's a smaller chance that we'll miss, and we don't need Rangefinder, so we have more Minicon slots available. Um, so those are our two options. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to try the rocket launcher method. And if that fails, then I'll do the sniper rifle method. So let's get Hailstorm. Let's get... Oh, this way. Rangefinder. Um, we don't really need Spark Jump. Actually, we'll keep him. Um, because jet units... Um, there's jet units in the boss battle. And that looks like it... Actually, you know what? I'm going to swap over to Optimus. Ready for duty. Because as I mentioned earlier, Optimus has more mini, uh, more minicon slots available to him, um, which is good. This is actually the point in the game, if you remember in some of my earlier videos, I said around two-thirds of the way through the game, we're going to swap from Red Alert to Optimus. This is around that time where we have to make the switch to Optimus. And if you're wondering why um, I was playing as Red Alert, is he's a more well-rounded warrior than Optimus is. Optimus is too slow. But from now on out, we'll pretty much have to play as Optimus. So we need Rangefinder. And... Build Up. There we go. And Build Up will regenerate our health over time. So... Let's go try out this boss battle. Hopefully, uh, we won't die. But we probably will. I just realized that was a really long intro of me picking my weapons. Pretty much most of this video is just going to be me picking the weapons. But it's all good because we have an amazing cutscene to watch. And I know that uh, you guys have already seen this cutscene, but it plays every single time you try the boss battle again. You can skip Sir, it. It's Tidal Wave. Recommend you take immediate cover. You have got to destroy him. Density scans reveal his body is heavily armored, but his head is vulnerable. His height will make it difficult to attack him. Suggest you maneuver into optimal weapon range. Yeah, you can skip that cutscene, um, but I don't like skipping it because it's pretty cool. 
But for the sake of the boss battle, if I keep dying over and over again, I'm going to skip the uh, the cutscene from now on out, even though it's really cool. All right. Uh, stop moving. Stop moving. Come on. All right. So my missiles can reach him, but my blaster cannot. I'm going to try taking out his turrets, too. Because you can take out the turrets. And basically, he attacks you the same way he does in ship mode, except on steroids. If you'll notice, uh, if you remember, he shot maybe like a missile or two at us uh, in ship mode, but now he just unleashes all of it. He also has uh, standard blasters, as you can see. And the missiles do do splash damage. Um, so you don't necessarily have to get hit with the missiles. If they land close enough next to you, they still do damage. Just not as much. Alright, so we got one of his turrets smoking. Let's see if we can take it out. I missed. So yeah, when you're actually fighting him... Um, there are two other strategies that you can do. You can try to take out his turrets and then deal with him himself. But every time you take out a turret, um, some jet units come down and help him. Or you can just focus on taking out his head. Focusing on taking out his head is easier, but not as fun. Oh, I missed. Missed again. Yeah, he keeps moving. Like, even when he's standing still, sometimes he'll stand up straight, and that'll cause you to miss, which is annoying as all get out. All right, we got one turret down. We got one turret down. All right. It does drop Energon, and lots of it. Not that we really need it, because we have buildup, so we're good. Also, um... It's a good idea to occasionally check behind you, because since Tidal Wave is so tall, you're constantly looking up, uh, trying to shoot at him. But make sure you check behind you so you know where you're going. That way you don't pin yourself up against a rock. Oh yeah, he does that too. This is probably his worst attack. These little laser things, if they hit you, yeah, you lose health really fast. So just try and dodge him. He's not really the best aim. I think I've almost got this turret gone too. In fact, the more turrets you uh, take out, the more often he'll use his little laser attack thing. And sometimes he only uses that laser attack for a few seconds. Sometimes he uses it, like, the entire battle. And I think this is one of those times. Oh, this is not fun. Okay. Stop it, dude. Actually, he might just do it until you hit him in the face. Maybe I did take out all of his turrets, and that's the only attack he has left. I'm not doing so good on health, though. Ah! Also, um, a little hint about um, buildup. Is that yes, it does replenish the health, your health, but the less health you have, the slower it replenishes it. So you still want to try and keep your health up all the way if possible. And tidal wave is totally cheating. Okay, he stopped. He stopped. That is good. Finally. Okay, he still does have that turret. Oh come on! He's cheating again. Oh, did I hear some? Uh jet units ah. 
Yes, yeah, okay, now we have some jet units. Um, the good thing about the jet units is that they are a source of energon. Um, oh, I died. Oh well, we'll try it again. We're gonna change up our weapons though. 